Hey guys, Zach Zinja here, and before I get into anything, I want to mention that if you're getting this error whenever you press enter that I'm showing on screen right now, if you're getting this currently, it's too late to use this fix in this video. You have to go to, like, there's lots of videos and sources online of how to fix this if you're getting it right now. But the purpose of this video is if you're getting this error constantly every couple weeks or couple days and you keep having to either use the fixes online or none of the fixes are working but you've restarted your account and you want to make sure that this error doesn't happen again then I'm about to show you what you can do to make it so this never happens again and your account will never be reset fully again and I'll show you what I mean by that. So go to your desktop. So I've got a shortcut here that uh, you should also create on your desktop. To do that just wait I'll I'll show you when I've started it up. So go into File Explorer it should be on your C drive or wherever you've got your users saved. So going to users, going to your your user, going to app data. You can also open app data by other means, like by using run. But this is another way to do that. All right. So then you go into local packages. Then Microsoft Sunrise base game, which is in this folder, scroll down, it's alphabetically sorted here. Then system app data, which is here, make sure it's not regular app data. These, well, there's nothing in there for me, but if there is anything in there for you, don't delete anything there. Make sure it's this one and then WGS. And these should be all of your Forza Horizon 4 saves. So I've got them on the other tab. Alright, so if you reset your account because there's nothing else you could have done about getting your account, having invalid profile, what you want to do is complete the Horizon roster. And once you've done that, you'll have these saves here. Or if you're just watching this now and you don't want this error happening to you again or it's never happened this is a way to permanently save your saves without them being corrupt so create a new folder and keep it handy so then what you want to do is copy these into here like press copy here make sure you don't move them because right now your game should be working fine because like I said earlier if you're if you're having the error on the game then it's too late to do this you can't save your saves because they're corrupt what I'm doing right now is backing up the saves which aren't corrupt so if you do in future have corrupt saves then you can roll back to your old saves and at least you wouldn't have permanently deleted saves it will just be you'll just roll back a couple days or it depends how many times you do this like so for instance i move these in here i mean copy copy them in there then uh, i'm playing the game as normal but then a couple days later like it doesn't it's not working anymore so what you want to do is open this shortcut oh yeah by the way shortcut you just create shortcut like that and then open this shortcut open your new folder if you if you get in the error what you want to do is delete your saves in the in here because they're already corrupt and it's not going to work if you're getting the invalid profile message. So 
depending on how many times you save it, like how frequently. It's so like say I'm just playing and then as soon as I stop playing, go in here and move your saves. So here I've got loads of different saves. So these are my actual ones, like I've got, <laughs> I've named them a bit silly, but uh, yeah, I've got, you can just sort by date modified. So whenever you copy your saves in, you can just uh, redo them every, every couple days. But uh, I save some of my older ones just in case, but yeah, you can be however organized you want of it. The main thing is move your saves from here into this folder every day or every week, however frequently you want to. Then if the error occurs, delete these saves in here. I press, press delete, but don't want to do that. When that happens, you copy the saves from this folder where your saves are, put them in here. You can either copy them in or just move them because it's not going to matter if you if you have lots of backups and then you should be able to play or do syncing data when you do that so when like close the game and restart it so when you move your saves from your saves folder into your WGS folder you should be able to start the game it'll do syncing data and then it'll work right sorry if this has been a bit long-winded but yeah I just wanted to make sure that everything was cleared up about how to back up these saves basically. So yeah, okay, that's about it. Right, thank you for listening and thanks for watching.